This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today we're going to talk about why you have a painful lump behind your knee, if you have one. If you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe. So if you're watching this video, chances are you have a painful lump kind of behind your knee, and you're wondering what the heck it is. So chances are high probability it's something called a baker cyst. So what is, is that and what does it mean? Basically, mostly all the joints in your body are surrounded by a capsule, which is kind of a thick layer. And the weakest part of that capsule in the knee is in the back. So if you have anything in the knee that generates a lot of fluid, whether that be a cartilage injury, meniscus tear, or even an ACL injury, or well, fracture, yes, but that's a different story. Um, it creates fluid that dumps inside the knee. Now it's like blowing a balloon when the weakest part of the balloon is in the back. So when you get a lot of fluid in the knee, it'll start ballooning out the back and it creates this sort of like cyst or lump in the back of your knee. Now a lot of times when that happens, it almost creates a one-way valve so the fluid tends to stick around. So you might find after more activities or something like that and your knee's irritated, it gets bigger and then other times it kind of like slowly gets smaller. But it's not like you can push on it and push the fluid out. So likely that's what it is, a Baker's cyst. And remember that if you have like injure your knee or any cartilage injury, and arthritis is cartilage injury over a long period of time, cartilage likes to dump lots of fluid out. Um, so that often contributes to it. Uh, a lot of people find it uncomfortable, um, but like I said, something inside the knee is causing it. Uh, so what to do about it? Usually you just wanna take care of whatever inside the knee is causing that fluid. If you can take care of the fluid generator inside the knee, usually the Baker cyst goes away with time. Rarely, um, you, can st you can also stick a needle in it and drain it, it's likely to come back. It's something that I do every so often if somebody really requests it, I'll take uh, fluid out of that cyst. They generally do pretty well. Um, like I said, it does come back. Make sure that if someone does take the fluid out of your knee that they're using an ultrasound because there's a big artery back there called the popliteal artery and you wouldn't want them sticking a, a needle into that. When I do that, I make sure I find that artery and I stay away from it. Um, but yeah, if you have a painful lump in the back of your knee, likely it's fluid, it's a Baker cyst, could it be something else? It's possible there's other sorts of masses and things that are floating around, but by and large, 99% of the time, that's what it is. So I hope I was able to answer your questions about what can be causing a lump in the back of your knee. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond, but I can't give you medical advice about your specific condition. Again, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.